We have a lot of our parks and open spaces that have been closed off due to the recent flooding in the area. The reason that we do have these trails closed off is for the public safety. Uh, the water flow that comes in undermines the trails and can lead to sinkholes, uh, complete trail washouts, uh, a lot of erosion. So we just want to make sure that uh, people stay out of those areas. Um, one thing that we do ask as well, uh, anytime that you're out on one of our trails and you do see potential for danger, we do ask that you please call the Parks Department and report that to us. Uh, so we can get on that as soon as possible. Our Parks Department has been working hard and hand-to-hand -hand with uh, Public Works in maintaining and trying to keep the trails safe. Uh, but unfortunately, as you will see in this video, some of our trails have been compromised from overwhelmed streams and drainage culverts. We ask that you be patient with us because the last thing we want is for somebody to get hurt on a trail that has not been secured or even our sports fields as well. Okay, so everyone is aware that uh, the flood that we, we had on the 8th of January 2017 is the worst flood that we've had in a decade. Um, during that flood, parks and, and trails and open space sustained about $1.67 million worth of damages to about 30 of our, our parks, trails and open spaces. The city staff members are out uh, conducting preliminary assessments and with the last flood that we just had last week, we anticipate that this estimate of $1.67 million is just, going to, is just going to rise. So the repairs are going to take some time, and this is where I, we have to ask for the residents to please be patient. They have to understand that the damages that we, we've encountered have, are extensive, and most likely with the incoming storm that we have coming in here over the next few days, we anticipate even more damages. So it's going to take us some time and they have to understand that. Um, they have to understand that we are we're employing all, all assets that we, that we have, the city has, but they have to be aware that a lot of the damages that we've sustained is really beyond our control, beyond staff's ability to be able to repair, which means that we're going to have to contract those out. And that's going to take some time. That's going to take probably, you know, we're talking months, six months, maybe even longer. So again, we just urge everyone to please use caution when they're out and about. I understand that it's a huge inconvenience. We get that. Um, but staff is working extremely hard to ensure everyone's safety. So when you do come across obstacles that are preventing you from crossing trails, just understand that that's there for a reason. And we wouldn't put those obstacles out there to prevent people from going out on the trails if it wasn't absolutely necessary. It's to ensure your safety. So again, as soon as we can make these repairs, we will do so. But you just have to understand that it's going to take some time.